I will answer any questions you have um, until I think we've got it. So real quick before we jump into that part, what's the rule for adding and subtracting monomials? So rule for adding and subtracting. Good. So the rule for adding and subtracting monomials is to combine like terms. So if there are no like terms, can I simplify it? All right. Only if they're like terms. So for example, on the riddle sheet, number one, are there any like terms in that one? Mm -hmm. The 2x and the negative 5x. I know they're like terms because they have the same variable to the same exponent. They both have x to the first power. So then combine them means add, but really just keep the sign that's in front of each term. So it's 2x minus 5x, which is negative 3x. So combine the coefficient, leave the variable part alone. Um, but then don't forget there's still other stuff in that one. So like the 8x squared doesn't have a like term, but it doesn't just go away. Now the middle part became minus 3x, and then the plus 7 doesn't go away. So which of these options best resembles the answer for number one? Is it E? Looks similar, but it's not. Um, is it L? Yes. All right, now normally, and this is also the reason why I won't make it an assessment, because I'll tell you this part, but if I were taking this as an assessment, when I would come around and check it, it would be, one, do you have the right answer to the riddle down here? And two, do you have enough work shown? So, I mean, I know some of it you can do in your head, but like, don't do all of it in your head. Um, I need to see some more. Make sense? So which on this page were difficult that you might need help with at all? Or was this page all easy? Yes. Number nine. All right. So kind of work from left to right. Look for any like terms. Is there any like terms that go with the six x cube? Good. This one right here. Are there any other x cubes in here? So then just combine those coefficients. So the coefficient's the number in front. Make sure you keep the sign that's in front of each term. So really it's a six minus five, which is what? Negative x and cube. So it's a negative one, yes, and then leave the x cube part below. Let's see just from that if I have any potential answers in here. All right, so maybe they did something else later that could be equivalent, so we'll just Keep going. Wait, it's not negative. I don't know why I'm going to make it. It's not negative. Sorry. So 6 minus 5 is a positive one, right? Okay, sorry. I don't know if I said that. I don't know if I said that. Um, okay, yeah, sorry. That's why I was not showing it. So looking at what I have so far, it's either H or U. So between those two, let's figure out which one it is. Um, let's keep going from left to right. So I have a constant right here. So constant means it doesn't have a variable. Do I have any other constants? This one. Yeah, just the 15. So those are things without variables. Those would be, those would be like terms. Keep the sign that's in front of it. If you need to write it out, write it out. So it's plus a negative two, really just negative two, and then plus 15. So what's negative two plus 15? 
So it's like if I owe someone two dollars, but I give them fifteen dollars. Or if I have negative two dollars in my bank account and I put fifteen dollars in, how much should I do that? Thirteen, yes. So positive thirteen. Um, between the two that I had, which one's going to be my answer? The H or the U? The H. So number nine is H. So one is L, nine is H. And I really could go more, but um, I just kind of did based on what's there so far, kind of the posture. All right, so nine, we said is H. Uh, one, we said is L. And we have to keep solving to find each other. Questions on that one? All right, normally I would say like do the whole problem, but I guess if you're working on a test and you already see that like the only possible option it could be is one of them, then that would be me. But you have extra time, go back and check. Um, any others on this page? Number two, you said? Okay. So looking at two, again, I'll just go from left to right. Um, yeah, these over here are written in what's called standard form, which we haven't talked about yet. But like they go in descending order of exponents over here, like highest to lowest. Um, these seem to be in like a random order. So just try and find like that matching like term in here. Um, so just from left to right, do I have any constant to combine with the four? Mm -hmm. All right, so just those two. Keep the sign that's in front of each one. What's four minus seven? Negative three, right? Yeah. All right, then keep going. Do I have any like terms to combine with the negative three x squared? Mm -hmm. So positive x squared. I'll do that work down here. If you think you <laughs> Always if you need like an extra sheet of paper for your work shown. Do that and then make sure you do with an adult. Now remember, combined like terms means the constant or not the constant, the coefficient, the number in front. What's the coefficient if it's not written? Mm -hmm. So what's negative three plus one? Mm -hmm. Negative two, and then leave it as x squared. So I have negative two x squared, and then we only have one thing left. It doesn't have a like term, so minus 9x. Questions on that one. All right, now which of these best matches that one? Which letter? So since the x squared is the bigger exponent, I'd probably look for a negative 2x squared from the left. Between A, S, which one's the better one? A. This one has an 8 instead of a 3. But it's tricky, like they're really similar. Um, but this one is the one that's completely correct because it has the whole thing from negative 3 to negative 9x. Make sense? So then all the twos are going to be in A. Okay. The others from this page. Yes. Fourteen. All right. So that one's a good one. Remember, same exact variables, same exact exponents are your like terms. Um, and also remember that terms are separated by what? Like, how do I know when a term starts and ends? Yeah. 
right? How do we know when a term starts and ends? So the addition and subtraction symbols are what separate your terms. So like here would be one term, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight terms in this one. Does that make sense? Because um, in order to figure out their like terms, you know where they start and end. So like, we'll just go from left to right. Are there any other A squared, B squared? What is it? All right, just that one, right? There's no other that are both A squared, B squared. So then combine the numbers that are in front. What is the number if it's not written? So I have a positive one and a negative one. What's one minus one? So really that will cancel. I won't even have an A squared, B squared in my answer. So one minus one is zero. Now look at the next one. I have A squared B. Do I have any others of those? Have one here, that's it. Number in front is a positive one. This one is a, what's one plus one? So, so far I have two A squared B. Next one, do I have a negative A cubed? Or is that the only one? Or it doesn't have to be negative, but do I have an A cubed? Not in any other terms. So just bring that one down then. Do I have any negative AB squared? No, so then just bring that one down. Do I have any negative B cubes? This one down here, the numbers in front are both what? So it's negative one minus one. Use the calculator. Negative two, and then keep the variable part the same. Negative two B Q. All right, in my list of options, find the one that best matches. So probably starts with the A Q. Is it R? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and even though it's in a different order, remember the sign stays with the term. So the sign that's in front stays with the term. So this is a positive 2a squared b. This is also positive. Um, this is a negative a cubed. This is also a negative a cubed. Negative a b squared. This is also a negative, and so on. Good? So all the 14 will be an R. Any others from this page? Does anyone have the answer to the riddle to the riddle? Yes. <clears throat> so I don't know the answer off the top of my head either, but we can see if it makes sense. Um why did the donkey get a passport? No one has it. Well, maybe I'll give you more time to move to it. Um, let's look at the other side of the real page. So this one was for the monowheels or the multiplying monowheels. So that one has a different rule. What's the rule when we multiply monowheels? Okay. Add the exponents. So They also have to have the same base. So if I have x to the a times x to the b, I get x to the a plus b. So 
they have to have the same base number, meaning like the one with the exponent has to be the same. Um, this one, find the simplest form for each expression below in the adjacent answer column. The letter of the exercise goes in that box that contains the number and the corresponding number. So which on this page were the most difficult? Anyone? Or were they all difficult? All right, then. Um, so let's just try to do because I know we ended taking notes bless you, the other day, and then you had time to practice, but like. There's some time in between that, so you might have forgotten. So let's just start easy. Let's start with E. According to the rule, the ones with the same base, you add the exponent. And when I say base, I'm talking about the bigger number. The exponent would be the smaller number. So x cubed times x to the fourth, what do I do with those exponents? So what is and I'll show my work, x to the three plus four, what's three plus four? So all the e's will go in which one? Which one matches? Good, so all the seven boxes will get an e in there. So I guess that's right. Now, do they have to be like terms for me to multiply them? They do not. So you just apply the product rule, that's what it's called, um, to the ones with the same base though. So the coefficients, the number in front, you would treat like normal. This one's a three. If it's not written, what's the coefficient? So it's three times one. And then what is x squared times x? So that one has another like implied math rule. If the exponent is not written, what is the a one? Rule is that you add the exponent. So x squared times x to the first gives me this. Now we should, these doesn't match. So then in the 14 box, you're going to put an O. All right. Um, so now then, someone just give me an example of that you want to see. Because I guess they're all equally hard. OK, so look at that T. Coefficients, the numbers in front, you treat like normal. So normally we're multiplying each term together, the coefficients, you treat like normal. So coefficient here is negative one, here it's negative one, and here is negative one. So we'll do that off to the side. Or also do it in your calculator. What's negative one times negative one? Positive one, and then what's one times negative one? Positive or negative? Negative one. So I have a negative one for the number in front. By the end, I should just have like one term. Um, look at all the a's. I have a to the first, no a in this one, and a squared. Rule is that you do what with the exponents? So what do I get on the A for this one? Again, what's the exponent if it's not written? So then what's one plus two? So I get A cubed. Based on my answers over here, there's only two that are negative a cubed. So let's keep going. Um, 
Now look at all the V's. So that's V to the first, V squared, V squared. Rule is that you do what with the X one? So I have one plus two plus two. What's the new exponent on the V? Five. And that's it. There's still a C, but there's only one, so that makes it easier. Yep, C squared. So which option best matches that? Twenty-two or twenty-seven, or, or actually no, twenty-two or twenty-eight. Twenty-two. Those are the only ones that start the same, but twenty-two is the only one that matches exactly. So that one's going to be C. Question. Um, twenty-two is C. All right, I think we could do one more example and then I'm actually going to give you time to try it. I'll do every single one for you. Um, so which other one on here? All right, so coefficients are the number in front. Start with those. Multiply those like normal. Whatever operation it says to do, like treat the coefficients normally. Just like adding my terms, you add the coefficients. Multiplying them, you multiply the coefficients. What's negative one times nine? Negative nine. And actually from this, well, there's two negative nine, so let's keep going. Um, now, I like going in alphabetical order because that's basically how the answer is. So let's look at the A's. There's only one A, right? So that's easy. What's it going to be in the answer? A squared. Um, now look at the B's. I have A, B squared and a B cubed. The rule is that we add the exponents. So we'll multiply them. It's not B to the six. It's B to the... Uh, so yeah, which one best matches that? Yes, that one. So twenty should have an L in it. Does anyone have the answer for this one for the middle? Kaylin? Uh yeah, going to have a this one. I don't know actually. I just heard them like that. They are. They are. Oh, they are. So we a little one. Yeah. So that could kind of give you an inkling if they're on the right track. Um. That's like also how the riddle ones are kind of better because if you see like things aren't making sense down here, you probably did something wrong. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Why are Mr. and Mrs. Number so happy? They're going to have a look. All right, so I'm gonna give you some time to work to figure out how we get to this answer. Um, and of course, show work. I'll check this one at the end of class and make this one like your first priority. If you finished it, um, do the other worksheet. Do this one, this chunk. Question then. Yes, over here. Yeah. All right, let me pause this.